Alexa, stop. Alexa, play WM. Hello there, and welcome to this first hole par four. Let's have a good time. Alexa, volume up. Looking good. This is obviously a scurvy behavior, and this is something that the school needs to do something about. So what do they do? They're banning pencil sharpers. Okay, we have about 130 yards, I'd say, to get to the pin. If you had a group of kids over at your house, and they dismantled something in your home to get a sharp object and start cutting themselves with it, would you just then forever ban the existence of that device in your home? You know, how, how are we sharpening pencils exactly? You need to turn the shot thing back on. Think that will save time. Solid swing. Which, by the way, is quasi legal already in Washington, D.C. Certainly would be criminalized. Well, you're in the sand, so uh, let's just uh, let's just get out of there and, and move on with our lives. The principal of D.C. public schools has determined that too many of the kids at Wilson High School might bring cannabis laced gummy bears, cookies, and baked goods. So, what's his solution? Nobody brings any cookies. Or gummy bears or baked goods to school. Is that wise? Is that the adult approach to something like this? Some of the kids might be baking pot into some brownies and cookies and bringing them to school, so now no one can bring. Well, you're out of the sand. That's all. Uh, <laughs> that's all you can ask for. It is the most infantile approach to solving a problem because, in fact, it doesn't solve the problem. I think we can bring some wisdom. Starting off at one over par. Okay, hole number two. Let's see what you can do here. Special counsel team. That's just how fast it's going to leak. 
Because maybe I'm wrong about this, you tell me, but I'm pretty sure the organizers of said prom are in fact high school students, right? And that's how it was in my high school. Junior class organizers and planners for the seniors and the prom. But it's the junior class's responsibility. And so, I, I don't know, maybe it's me, but I'm thinking 16 and 17 year olds, they're probably going to let it slip where the actual prom is going to be. Uh, that said, this principal is uh, grandstanding and making a big public nuisance of him herself by uh, declaring that the location of the prom will be kept a secret. And I'm sure you're sitting there wondering to yourself, too, Larry, why on earth would the principal want the location of the prom to be secret? And that's a fair question, I think. You know what? I want to hear from you. What? I want you to give me a guess. Because whatever guess you come up with, it will not be as stupid and frankly intellectually dangerous as the reason this principle is put forth as to why they are keeping the location of the prom. Pop's so keeping a jump to the green from here. But I would love to hear your guesses. Put yourself in the mindset of a little progressive principal in the D.C. school system. You're in charge of Woodrow Wilson High School. Not Brown Wilson High School. No. Woodrow Wilson High School. I love the Beach Boys. And you are deciding that you want to keep the location of the prom secret. What reason could you possibly have? 888-620-9625. This is Mike from Fun. Why do you think they're keeping it a secret? 888-630-WMAL. Let's get back to the, the, the pot thing. And let's let's see if we can uh, save par on this pot okay. here. sharpeners and then cutting themselves. Now, in my home, uh, certainly, first of all, obviously, if there's a dangerous sharp weapon around, like a, a kitchen knife or something, you don't have it in the hands of a toddler. You don't have it in the reach of a toddler. Okay, so let's assume that we're dealing with children. Solid pot, we're in the hole. We're dealing with children who have And a that'll keep you at one over for the round. And, uh, what is this? Hole number three. This knife that we use to slice meat and everything, it's really sharp, and it can hurt you. It can cut you. So you don't touch it, you don't play with it. Okay, so we, we've already gotten past the point where they know that. You don't have to lock these things up in your house, okay? So, if, if you've got, a, let's say I've got, my kid has, you know, ten of his friends over. And one of them, or two of them, go in and they abscond with a knife. And they're cutting themselves with it. How do you stop that from happening in the future? Next time your friends all come over, your kids' friends come over. Now, first of all, those two kids need some help. This one's, one's looking good. Immediately, and there needs to be some serious intervention. And I have no doubt that something like that is happening at this school. But guess what else? All right, 13 footer here. Every single kid who then comes over to my house again to play with my kids, they need to know going in that if they mess around like that, there will be severe repercussions. And I work with the kids' parents to make sure that there is a serious punishment inflicted on them. And frankly, if my kid knew about it, my kid gets punished severely. Hmm. Because then the next kid who thinks even even as an inkling that they might do something like that, Okay, so that'll keep you at one over for the round. Fourth hole coming up. Take your best shot.
cutting themselves with the razor from the pencil sharpener, number one. Number two, why is the solution to not confiscate no! all pencil sharpeners? Can you imagine yeah, gone it. in your home being completely free of knives? Of course not. No good. If you punish the kids for doing that, I, I think you're pretty safe for knowing that that's a bullcrap result. Could be in the rough here. Here's a pro tip. Try staying out of the rough. It'll help, trust me. All right, 10-footer here. This is makeable. Solid putt for the bogey. Oh, I'm glad you made that. Sitting at two over for the round. Okay, next stop, fairway, right? Now that was a swing. And it looks like we have about 135 yards or so to go. So uh, here's the deal. You got a prop, you got a home. What do you do with it? 
but sometimes the best idea is to rent it out. And I hope you don't want to do like a hassle of renting out your property. That's where Renters Warehouse comes in. They're going to perfectly price your property. They're going to rent it out fast, easy, and worry-free. It just takes 17 days on average. And they're going to take care of everything for you for $99 a month. They manage your property 24-7. Rent collection, maintenance, inspections, tax paperwork. They even warranty the tenants for up to nine months. I'll tell you what, why don't you just find out how much your home will rent for? Go to RentersWarehouse.com and book a free home rental price appointment. It's free. Doesn't look like it's all the fairway, but that's all right. All right, we're in the first cat here. Let's just pop this on the green. Okay, so that'll keep you at two over for the round. All right, let's haul off and just smash this next drive. Nice swing. For free. At Edelman Financial, for a limited time, you can get a free retirement review from our experienced financial planners. You'll see if you have enough money to last your entire retirement. To get your free retirement review, visit edelmanfinancial.com slash review. It's a special limited time offer, so act now. Visit edelmanfinancial.com slash review. Do it today. Be retirement confident. EdelmanFinancial.com slash review. Advisory services offered through Edelman Financial Services Securities Office with EF Legacy Securities member FINRA and FINRA. It happens just once a year, and it's big. Well, it's going to have to bite. Once a year, close out of the blowout. Say big. Well, you ended up just fine on there. A little work to do, but nothing too bad. Say big. 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 Perfect. All right, one over for the round. Seventh hole coming up. Great contact. Hotel rooms for the students. Now, a lot of times parents do this. They book a hotel room for students to practice at. Partly under the understanding that these kids go to after prom parties. Sometimes there might be alcohol involved. They want them to have a safe place to go so that they're not drinking and driving, that they're not causing a disruption, so they have a hotel room instead. I know that some parents do this. Well, this principal says 
that when parents will put tokens for their students, it is an endorsement of reckless behavior. And so this principle, knowing better for the kids than what the parents know for their own children. Solid swing. So parents won't be able to book a hotel room. Mm-hmm. Thinking now that since parents don't book a hotel room, now the kids won't go out and Looks like uh, I'd say around 110 yards or so to the pin. For the birdie here. And that'll keep you at one over for the round. Okay, let's send this little ball on its way. Now at MGA National Harbor, you get scratch and rip and win big with great prizes like a new laptop, 
Nice. Should be in the fairway. Unlucky. I take back that last comment. Well, looks like this may be in the deep stuff. Okay, so that'll keep you at one over for the round. Okay, it's time to send this ball on its way. Looks like you may be getting wet here. Really? Come on, let up too freaking much? Thirty-eight feet separates you and the hole. I hope you uh, hope you have fun with this. That was absolutely fine putting. Sitting at three over for the round here. 
And uh, hole number 10 coming up here. Good stuff. Solid swing. Putting from around 16 feet out. And that'll keep you at three over for the round. All right, let's let her rip. Great contact. Nice swing. Looking at 125 yards ish to the pin here. Correct. 
Shirley, I do love uh, how Abigail Adams is being referenced today because it is a remarkable achievement to think of a woman to be uh, married to a vice president, yeah. then married to a president, and the no. mother of a president. And I, I Heading towards the beach here, not the good kind. Yeah, well, you can get up and down from here, I think. Give it your best. Okay, so that'll keep you at three over for the round. Coming off a par on the last one. Let's see what happens here. Nice swing. And uh, about 135 yards out from here. Could be in the rough here. To save par. Ugh. 
is that we're a unified field for only a very brief time before, you know, everybody started to have to uh, fish and fight with each other, so. Yeah, uh, sadly, you're right, but, uh, but we will take the, the, the few brief moments today and at least enjoy a little bit of a respite of that, uh, Craig Shirley. I appreciate you joining us, and uh, thank you for reflecting a little bit about Barbara Bush and, uh, and her life. Wow. And, uh, I gotta say, yeah, uh, exactly. I, obviously, I immediately thought of, of George W. and Deb, and all of the kids, and Craig was also who was your your mother. But uh, how how? All uh, right, Deb and we are back, back in the fairway. fairway. Good to see. Just be with this woman for your entire life, from the time you were a teenager right up until yesterday. You think that would be constant companion and and constantly together. And, uh, you know, there were there were presidents like uh, Kennedy, you know, in the White House slept in separate uh, bedrooms. Uh, the Nixon slept in separate bedrooms. The, the Reagan slept in the same bedroom, and so did the Bushes because they were utterly, madly in love with each other. Yeah, uh, that was, that was clear. Craig Shirley, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Thanks. Author of Reagan Rising, the decisive years 1976-1980. Barbara Bush, dead at the age of 92. Let's see if we can save par on this putt. Nice, that'll work for par. Okay, so that'll keep you at four over for the round. Okay, 14th hole. I can't hit all the fairways. All right, 25 footer from here to the cup. Well short, 25 feet tall. Alexa. Hello. Hello. Sitting at five over for the round. Okay, let's give her a smash here. Will not only treat you, but your entire family, so that we can address the root cause of your 
addiction to heroin, opioids, alcohol, painkillers, or cocaine. Call now, 1-800-RECOVERY. Our care advocates are standing by 24-7 to answer your call within 10 seconds or less and can arrange for transportation from your location to our facility in two hours or less. We are in network with most major insurance providers, and we have beds available today in our brand new Center for Addiction Treatment. Call now, 1-800-RECOVERY. For over 150 years, Smith & Wesson has been a name synonymous with the world's finest handguns. Now, Atlantic Guns invites you to see the full line of Smith & Wesson firearms <laughs> during their factory sale. This Friday nice. and Saturday, Atlantic Guns at Silver Spring and Rockville will offer all Smith & Wesson's at special sale prices. Meet factory reps and see the new models with a pair of gun enthusiasts. Don't miss this two-day event. Call Atlantic Guns now at 800-589-GUNS or visit AtlanticGuns.com. Okay, so the big question for any decision you're going to make, is this actually going to work? Well, if you've heard about MediShare, it's a legitimate way of sharing health care costs. You don't need that. Does it work? A study done by Stuart Hoover, who initially told to save a lot of money, the typical family saves about $500 a month. Who would save even more? When we first joined uh, MediShare, we were immediately going from a little over $1,600 a month down to uh, $460, basically, a month. So that's wonderful, but then his wife needed emergency surgery, and the bills added up to $160,000. So we were seeing the bills coming in, and then the bills were being paid, or were being shared. And the end result of this is this bill was... Hope this one fiber. bites. Yes, MediShare works, and it's so easy. Okay, yeah, ended up nice and safe. So Still a little work to do, though. 866-88-BIBLE. That's 866-88-BIBLE. 866-88-BIBLE. And that'll keep you at five over for the round. Let's put this drive in the fairway. Pretty deep stuff here. Um, give it a good hack. Let's put it in the right direction. Doesn't look like it's on the fairway, but it's all right. Ah, from rough to some more rough. That is unfortunate. Uh-huh. I see. 
That's the minute. I'm Dennis Bell. Results may vary. Not a solicitation for legal services. If you owe the IRS back taxes, payroll taxes, or have not filed your return, the IRS will get you. They can take your property, take you to court, even put you in jail. One call to Wall and Associates, and your tax problems are solved. Wall has saved clients over $150 million in the last five years. Our average client settled for about 10% of what is owed. Here's a pro tip. Try staying out of the rock. It'll help, trust me. Well, looks like this may be in the deep stuff. Sitting at six over for the round. Seventeenth hole coming up. This one for the save. Great pot in there for par. Okay, so that'll keep you at six over for the round. Okay, it's time to send this ball on its way. Okay, the ball is sitting above your feet here. You're going to want to maybe aim a little more to the right than you normally would. Okay, 
Jim for you, but in that case, call the cat's by liquor. They ain't nothing better except cat urine smells either. But the best part, for only $15, we ship a 30-day supply right to your front door. Shoot, we even offer a money-back guarantee. Jump on the go to that bandwagon. Get rid of that toxic cloud clothing. Start Heading the towards the water. water. Well, you're in the deep stuff here. I think they call this the cabbage. Let's uh, let's just try to make some solid contact and get that ball headed in the right direction. Great contact. Okay, let's see what you can do with his eight-footer. Way to drop that putt. And it's looking like seven over par for you at the end of the day. Thanks for the round. Uh, I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed chatting with you. We'll talk to you next time.